Today on IKNAS Armory, how to assemble a wired foil and epee. Let's put an epi one on first, blades are rewired. And notice I put the spaghetti on, but not all the way down because the notch in the guards is oftentimes too small. And this notch is fine for um, a foil, one foil wire, not for two epi wires. So what I did was, a little ease for myself. So I'm gonna put these two wires through the hole from the front, like so pull them through and note that now instead of the insulation I just have the bare wires here it's much easier to pull down make sure it's lined up these are lined up in the, in the notch where it goes there you go so now I have the wire the, the guards mount guards on the notch for the wires is lined up with the wires and now I can pull these things down so now they're all the way down because he has to go all the way to the shoulder and now comes the socket. The first thing to the socket though is I'm gonna make sure everything's all nice and tight. So put the screws back here, make sure they're tight, which they are, because you have to have that bracket in contact with that solder tab because that's the C-line connection. Make sure the C-line is also tight. Fine, yes, and make sure these are loose enough for me to get the wires out and the new ones on. Okay. Now I'm not going to go into these holes here because it's not required in the US and this is a domestic fencer. So the wire is going to go from the bottom through this bracket hole, not on top of it, through it. So it doesn't get crushed by the bracket, which happens a lot. Through. Okay. Both are going through the bracket. Let's sit right there so it'll hold it in place. And I'm gonna take one wire, put on one of the one of the uh, receivers. Doesn't matter, does not matter which one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull it up a bit so my nail gets under the little washer, and so I get the wire under the washer. And a little bit of the spaghetti tubing under the washer is a strain relief. Note, I'm not going 15 miles around it. It's just a single wrap. And tighten it just nice and snug. And the reason you don't want to go a billion times around use all the wire is because you may break the wire if you tighten it up because the wire will cut itself and stack the top of each other. Now for the second one. My thumb is holding in place so the wire doesn't torque around to the front. And there's that. So now I'm going to test it. And right now it's in my vise with about six inches off the tip off the ground. That way I can hit with my foot and test it. Hang on a second. Okay, so it's been tested. I know it works. Pull the cord out. Push this down, make sure the wire is not under the bracket. Sometimes it gets under the bracket and that's when it gets smushed. So you can see right now it's, it's not under the bracket, it's out the top. Make sure it points straight back the pad on. When I need straight back, I mean, the, I mean the groove is facing me. Pads down. On the grip, make sure that the little walk washer's in place. Yes, it is. And the nut. My wrench. Got to tighten up a little. Just snug it up. Start to snug. Make sure that the wires are in line with the notch in the nose's grip. That's what it's for. Yes, they are. And go ahead and crank it tight. Okay. 
and hit the foot, my foot again. Oh, it's not plugged in. That would help. <laughs> Now let's try it. Bingo, works perfectly fine. There is no grounding going on. <clears throat> the last thing to do on this is to touch this to my, my uh, grounding test plate on my, on my box. This is for the buzzer. That means that the, um, that the guard grounds properly. And that is how you put the wires on an Epe. Foil next. Okay, so let's put the foil together. Now uh, this again has the wire already stripped. Here's the extension part here. As before, that the guard wire goes through the hole in the center of the guard, and it lines up with the notch in the in the uh, guard. That's where the wire goes. Follow it down. It's all the way down now. Now we take our socket, and again, as before, we're going to first thing we do is make sure the C line is tight, which it is. B line's B line's already way loose. There's plenty of uh, space for you to get the uh, wire down there. And I get the epe, put it through the bracket, right? You know what the bracket has? Notches for the wire. Hang it there. Now, because the wire is a little on the short side, I'm going to use a hemostat, a pair of locking forceps, and grab the end of the wire. So handy. And then go under the washer and the underside. Now, note this, I go on the underside of the bracket. You do not have to go through the top. The only socket where you have to go through the hole in the top of the bracket is the Leon Paul because the connection is always on top. This one, I prefer to go on the bottom so it wires away from the fingers and it doesn't torque around as much when you uh, tighten it up. Put my 8mm wrench on the nut, my screwdriver, tighten it up here. There it goes, so now it's tightening. Okay, take my hemoset off. Now I still have a chunk of wire, which I should have. Nope, it broke off. Okay, it did it break off, let's see. Make sure I don't have any wire hanging up. Nope, there it is. Okay, there's some wire right there, hanging off. I wanna make sure that's gone, not touching the bracket. First, I we'll wanna make sure this is gonna work properly. So I've got my mirror to the right, you can't see it. But like when I did the, uh, I'll try for it with it here in a second. There you go. But like <clears throat> the um, wiring videos, you know, I'm touching, I'm pushing the tip of my foot and then looking at the meter. So now I got continuity. Push up with my, my foot on the underside on the, on the tip. Okay, it's good there. And now I'm going to break the wire off. So you do not want that bit of wire. There it goes. Touching. The bracket still works okay. Unplug that all the way down again. Make sure the notches in the bracket line up with the wire. The wire is coming straight at me again. The it's facing the uh, the groove, and then I'm going to put tape down. Now tape is legal in foil. Tape is actually legal in Nepe into the guard if it is clear tape. If it's opaque tape like this stuff, no. And it's not that because the rule says you can't have tape. There's actually no rule about tape in the rules in Nepe. He simply says the referee must be able to look under the pad and see if the wire is in two separate sheets. So it doesn't say tape, but the referees always interpret the mean tape. If you have an epe and you have clear tape over your, over your, over your wires, you're good. If, if I'm there and some referee says you can't have tape and it's clear, call me over. So this is down so the wires don't get caught. There comes the pad. Okay. And the grip with the... So this before, make sure the lock washes in the right place. It is up in the nut. Crank that down. A little snug, I'm gonna plug it back in again. Now of course in foil, it's a closed circuit. I always have light when I plug in, so if I hit the tip and the light stays on, that means it's grounding. But it works fine, crank it tight. Also make sure that the wire is in the notch, which it is, but this pad is so thick, it's not gonna be an issue. There it goes. That works perfectly. That weapon is now ready to go back out. Now to connect the wires for foil. Happy armoring.